Hey y'all, welcome back to the garage. Today we're going to continue on getting plan B ready for pulling season. Uh, we got to put the intake on, we got to set the timing, uh, put the exhaust on it, valve covers, all that. So a uh, little bit more work to do. So let's get wrenching. All right, y'all, here's what we got going on here. Uh, this is an adjustable steel flywheel. Uh, you can see the line, timing mark right here. And then it's graduated along, goes from like 20 to like 50 degrees. Uh, right now, this thing says it's set at 28. Yeah, about 28, somewhere right in there. Um, I have marked my flywheel here uh, let me see if I can bring it up the top dead center here a little bit more all right right there I got top dead center see my mark right there and what we're going to do is I've got a progressive timing light uh, which is adjustable you can it's got a dial on it you can set it anywhere from zero to I think 40 or 50 degrees advanced and uh, what we'll do is We'll turn it over. Well, we'll hook the hook the uh, pickup, inductive pickup on this, this number one spark plug here. Uh, we'll hit the key, turn it over. Uh, if it's you know when the, when the dial, well actually I'll show you here. When this dial on the back of here is set to zero, those timing light, that timing mark should should uh, line up with zero. And as we progress this around. You know, it should, you should be able to uh, turn this up and it'll tell you exactly, you know, when you hit the 30 or whatever, it'll, it'll indicate that that's where you're at. So, um, I might be explaining this backwards, but uh, hopefully the camera will pick up the timing marks on here. Uh, if the frame rate's not set to, I don't know how good it'll be with the high speed. And the flashing of the the uh, timing light, but uh, we're gonna try, and we're gonna shoot for about 32, 34 degrees advanced timing to to run this methanol. So let me get set up, and uh, we'll see if we can't get this thing to show you what we're talking about. All right, y'all, got this thing here set to 32. The timing light set to 32 degrees. We're gonna hit the key and uh, see where we're at on the timing marks. All right, we are almost right dead on. Actually, pretty close to being dead on. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, it's 32 degrees. Um, the reason I use the timing light is because these flywheels are known to be not real accurate. They're just a good starting spot. So, uh, knowing that uh, we're right on with the with the timing light, I'm very very happy. Uh, Alright y'all, I got the uh, timing light set to 32 degrees, so we're going to see what uh, where we're at here. Alright, that was 32 degrees. Let's bring this back down to zero. And that yellow mark, if you're seeing the yellow mark, it should be moving. So... I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it was way over here. So yes, we are we are uh, pretty dang close to where we need to be. So hopefully, uh, when we go to fire this thing up, she'll fire up and run run decent. If not, we'll have to adjust the timing a little bit more. And uh, I just realized I didn't show you guys how you adjust the timing on this thing. So I'll get the camera set back up, and uh, we'll bring you around and show you how how this thing's set up all right y'all if you guys can see here there's some allen head screws or allen head bolts here here there's actually four of them 
take way you adjust this if you guys can see there those holes are slotted you loosen those four up and you rip this this line right here this is the intersection this is the inside this is the outside you actually rotate this this piece on this I should say this piece on this piece down in here so that's how you adjust the timing and like I said these timing marks on these flywheels are very notorious for not being real real accurate um, they're somewhat accurate good enough to get you a baseline but if you gotta you know you gotta use a timing light to get 100% uh, I really wish I could put the crank, crank trigger ignition on this thing to get it even more accurate but the magnet wheel from my old engine will not fit on this crank uh, the PTO portion of it on this tractor is actually smaller than the one on my old other engine so if I can come up with another magnet ring if I can get one ordered soon enough I will I will go ahead and put that on and I'll show you guys how it's done uh, but for now we're gonna run the stock coils so alright let me get the uh, next thing is we're gonna get the intake on and get some fuel in this thing and we're gonna try to fire it up so hang on alright y'all you can see we got this all back together now got all the pieces parts on it got the heads back on it intake exhaust everything uh, the only thing I don't have is the hub for the front counterbalance uh, I need to get a smaller one one for the smaller PTO that's on this tractor uh, but uh, yeah she's all back together she's ready to go the only thing stopping me from firing it is I do not have fuel um, I gotta go get some uh, we'll see about getting some so sorry we're not going to start it in this video but she will we'll get her you know no big deal uh, but yeah we got her back together so that's it all right y'all that's it for this video uh see we got her all back together she's ready to fire up but uh i just do not have the fuel uh some other small stuff on the outside of the engine nothing that's keeping it from running uh fuel is the main thing don't have the fuel can't start it uh so i'm gonna go get some fuel and hopefully in the next video we will start it i know i said we'd do it in this one but um just ran out of time uh, i had some other stuff uh outside of youtube going on that i had to get taken care of and uh maybe we'll do a video on that Did that make it inside of youtube i don't know anyways appreciate y'all watching keep you know, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that ring at bell. Get subscribed. You'll get to see everything we do here in the shop. And uh, do all the cooking videos. Don't forget about those. Uh, our Sunday live stream, Sunday, 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Come on in. We talk about the tractor pulling. We talk about small engine stuff. Uh, talk about tractor pulling in general. You know, talk about everything. Talk about cooking. Just life in general. So, anyways, appreciate you all watching, please. Hit that like, leave me a comment, and uh, again, uh, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, and uh, how about trying out that new button down there, that thanks button. Click that and see what we get from that. So, all right, we'll catch you all in the next one.